Spiro Ditas, thank you very much. We will be back inside Studio J here in Atlanta. And Charles had said at halftime, man, I want a 2-2 series. And Chuckster, you got your wish. You know, that was a great game. Uh, and James Harden turned back the clock. He was spectacular. Is so that turning back the clock for a guy? Like yeah, that? the guy hadn't had 25 points in the last two months. Okay, just checking. So, okay, yeah, but he was fabulous tonight. He was aggressive. And I love the, the energy he played with. James doesn't normally show a lot of emotion, but his energy, because that crowd in Philly was rocking. Man, but you know what? The pressure's still on the 76ers. They have to win in Miami. Miami does not have to win in Philadelphia. Every Philadelphia starter in double figures in this one, led by James Harden with 31, uh, Joel Embiid 24 and 11. Tyrese Maxey had 18. They shoot 54 percent, um, and now 33 and two this year when they shoot 50 percent. They win it 116 to 108 over the uh, Miami Heat. So we're all tied up at. Two games apiece, and uh, we're waiting to do a little post-game interview right here. Do we have it? Do we have a headset? We have a headset on Danny Green, ladies and gentlemen. Danny, you hear us okay in Atlanta? I do, I do. How you doing, E? Doing great, man. How about you? I'm doing okay. It's good to hear from you guys. Yeah, with a 2-2 uh, series now after, after you dropped the first two in Miami, and you have rediscovered the three-point stroke. How much of that is... Man, Joel Embiid's back in there. You got more space to do it. How much of it is being back home in your gym? Both. Um, it's a big part of it. Joel's creating so much space with his double teams. Um, us just taking time, having our home crowd behind us gives us more confidence. Uh, but just the organization on offense helps a lot with him on the floor. Without him, we looked a little discombobulated. But, you know, we're finally um, feeling comfortable, feeling more confident, knocking down some shots. But, you know, James was incredible tonight for us. He made some big plays down the stretch. And each night we're going to need somebody to do that for us. If it's Tyrese, James, or Joel, um, we got to make some free throws. But, you know, we know they're going to be tougher in their building. So we got to come in more intense, more focused. Hey, Danny, it's your shooting coach here. Oh, that What's has up, a little dog? bit to do with it, but what do I tell you every time I see you? You say, leave you're it, playing man. in these type of situations. So the first two games, you didn't leave it. Last uh -huh. two games, you have leave them. So I just want to say good job. And, you know, you know you guys have to win in Miami. They don't have to win in Philly. Yeah. Uh, is the pressure on you guys or is the pressure on the heat? Um, I mean, we're not really focused on that. We're just trying to focus on what we need to do. Um, I think the pressure is equal now, 0-0, zero, zero, so it's the first to two. Um, but I appreciate your advice always shooting. I'm going to make sure I lock and leave it. The last one I missed, I didn't lock and leave and stick. Uh, but we know coming into their building, it might be a little more pressure on them because they're at home. But, um, you know, it's not a series until so, so a team wins on the road. But they have home court advantage. So we have to make a, put some pressure on them by trying to get a win in, in their building. What are you going to do when you shoot it? Lock and leave and stick. Leave it. I got to leave it. And what are you going to do when you shoot it? <laughs> leave it, man. I'm going to leave it. And what are you going to do uh, when you shoot it? Oh, my God. I'm going to keep leaving it, man. I'm going to make Good, sure I make every you. shot. Doc, doc <laughs> the sh shooter. Hey, uh, Danny, who's the most important person, special guest you had on your podcast? Oh, man, it's Chuck by far. I appreciate it. Oh, thank Kenny. you, Danny. Well, listen, you most reason. Kenny, I got, it's between you and Kenny. We had Kenny during the uh, COVID situation. Yeah, Kenny was great. Is. So, you know, Chuck, I, I really appreciate you guys, and, and hopefully I get a chance to be on your podcast one of these days. Well, well, well yeah. just for the record, you had him on when it was COVID, so that technically doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I guess you, you got the lead. You're the number one uh, of our podcast so far. Hey, you know, Danny, you guys talk about it. You know, you, you, you stepped up your game a lot back in Philly. Maxie's been playing great. Tobias is playing great. What, what's it going to take for you guys to win in Miami? To get one on the road, we got to have everybody playing great. We know it's going to be tough in their building. They're going to be shooting a lot better. Um, we got to make sure we keep them off the glass. Jimmy's been excellent the last two games. He's going to be even tougher to guard. Uh, so we got to come in for 48 minutes. You know, we know we got our fans behind us. We got to be able to be confident and, and be able to knock shots in their building. But, you know, we need Joel to get back to himself a little bit. James, continue what he's doing. And Tyrese, uh, he will do what he's been doing all year and, and putting pr pressure on the free throw line to the basket and, and making sure we get them in foul trouble. But uh, we do the things that we, we know we're capable of doing and doing it for 48 minutes. We, we feel like there's nobody out there that can beat us. Well, you know, I just have a comment since you, you, you kind of answered most of the questions. You got championship pedigree. But I, I did notice, Tar mm -hmm. Hill, that um, Hubert Davis was in Dallas with Coach yeah. Hoops. Yeah. And I, I would feel a way if he didn't come to see I, you I talked in to the him. game. I talked okay. to him recently. They said they're they banking on making us in the second round, uh, the next round. Um, but we were down 0-2. He was like, we might need to make that trip quicker. I said, don't count us out just yet. We might be able to still get there. Uh, we will get there. Uh, we do what we're supposed to do. Now we got Joel back. So hopefully I'll see Hubert and my guys in, in the next round if we continue okay. to take care of business. 
I would feel away yeah. if I was playing and, my, and when the coach, coach didn't come. He's, He's in 10 late. of his last 13 from deep. And Shaq, you know what his nickname is? Yeah, leave it. No. <laughs> his nickname, Icy Hot. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, man, I hate that name. But, yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> I didn't approve that, sir. <laughs> I didn't approve yeah. that. Yeah. You didn't run that by my office, I'll sir. I'll make sure. I, yeah, it's my fault, Shaq. I'll make sure I. Man uh, up. Yeah, I got to put, put, put you on the asterisk or make sure I quote you or cite you on that one. <laughs> Danny Green, thank you much. We appreciate your time. Thank you Good guys. luck down there in Miami, man. Appreciate it. We'll need it. Thank you. All right, so uh, well, that was entertaining. Yeah, he's a nice kid. Oh, yeah, he's no nice doubt. Man. No doubt. He's, he's my rookie. Included. He's shooting that really? thing, too, right now. Uh, Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, coming your way next. Uh, is this guy in the front row at the Sixers Heat game fast asleep in a sold out arena? Oh, oh my certainly goodness. appears he, that way. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's a little narcoleptic. Yeah. Could be, I mean, could be narcoleptic. Yeah. He's not a narco. He drunk, he drunk as hell. Could be narcoleptic. That dude drunk as hell. <laughs> narcoleptic. That dude drunk. Stop Thank, it. You, doc Thank you, Dr. Barkley. <laughs> What'd you say, Chuck? Stop it. Stop it. Dude drunk as hell. <laughs>